So that's the first coat. Another coat of the Seedle. And we're coming in from the side this time. We're not coming down, we're just coming in from the side. Now we're going to use the other one. And you'll see. Now holding on the tree on its side rather than downwards because we want to keep that dark colour un underneath the fibres, the uh, branches. We whack some of this on. Now you'll see where you need it and you don't. A little bit of extra spray. And that tree's starting to look alright straight away. Bit of trimming to do yet. So we get that in there enough that it's covering it. Now you can't see that wire armature now. That's already, that's gone. There's your tree for starters. Needs to get some layers cut in it. I'll show you that in a trick in a, in a moment. Alright, we just seal that off. Now, when this dries, you'll be able to handle the trees and that without, without them coming off. But you don't want to touch too much of it because you'll flatten the sides of it there. So we'll just leave that one dry for a couple of minutes and then we'll turn in the video on again. To give some gaps in between here to make it, the shape of it uh, much better looking. I'm coming in there now and I'm just going to cut around the base here. Straight that way and an angle that way up the tree. And I'll show you why we're going to do this when I start adding the extra, extra foliage. Yeah, we're wasting some stuff here but hey, it's not that it's not that uh, bad wasting some of this. You're going to get a good looking tree out of this at the end. Just some steps. See the little, little gaps that are starting to come in the tree there now? Now we'll put some of those in and it gives the tree much better natural looking shape. Now I'll work as quick as I can here. I'm not going to bore you. Chopping these chunks out. Don't have to go, it's not as if you're making a spiral, but you just chop some of these chunks out of there and then we'll put the highlights in it on it in a second. I'll just show you that nearly there. A bit more up there. As I said, I'd like the tips fine on these trees, so I reckon they look better. Now we haven't wasted too much more material. Okay, I think you can see through that tree we've got some shape in it there. It looks, it looks a little bit better than it did than just a plain tapered tree with no, you've got depth and texture inside there now. Okay. Clean those last bits out. Now we're going to uh, add the highlights and this is what I think makes the tree look real good. Right up. We've used the fibres, now we're going to go into some ground foam. There's a couple of ways you can do this. That's a hikey ground foam, it's just a fine ground uh, ground foam, quite nice. Nice, see the lighter colour though, that's what we're after, the colour. So we're using dark, a medium, and now we're going to go to a light. Then there's a finer one that, that I use as well, I've got a shaker here, which has got a bright green in it. And you can see how bright that green is in the, in the ground foam. So we're going to put we're going to put a bit of both on here. We're going to, so we've got four colours going to go onto this tree. Little fine, it's fine material, so I've got fine holes in this shaker that I've made. But this one, right? We're going to be putting it on the downside. So we've got to hold the tree vertical. I'll give it a spray, and I'm spraying downwards now, so that all the Hairspray is hitting the top, and with this one, without a shaker, I'll sprinkle this on. I'll just sprinkle a bit of this on. Now you can start to see the texture is already starting to build up on the tree. Just touching the tops of the leaves and that. Yeah, there's a start. I saw a bit of trimming. We can keep on trimming this afterwards. Now the other thing, we'll put this very last one on and you'll see the difference when we put this very bright green on. Now 
I've only got small holes, so I can't get too much out, so I can keep the control it. Very fine. This, this is fine enough to just, I'll just do this one side. Now you can start to see the how the tree's looking there now. Now that's that's only taken a, a couple a few minutes to do that, but I reckon you've got a pretty good looking tree. There's a couple other parts in there you can touch up and you can keep on going back on with a few bits if you want to. If you want to darken it up a little bit more, if you don't have enough, you just go back and do some light touch ups. Let the tree dry and just that bit there, the rest of the tree won't get it and you can just shake off the excess. But there you go. There's that part. Now I'll show you the trunks. Anyway, these are some balsa wood trunks that I've made. I've already um, ca uh, carved them on a um, multi-tool belt sander and I've just distressed them with the wire brush down here to get the bark and I've just stained them with acrylic paints just using some white and some burnt umber to get that colour. Don't go too dark on trunks, it's in a model form and under uh, lighting they look much better when you've, when you've got a lot of colour in models. The tree trunk that we've got there, I've drilled a hole in the top of that to, to take this, so it's going to um, go in there, we'll just trim this off. I'll leave about an inch and I'll drill a hole in the, the, uh, in the trunk. And put a bit of glue in there and there's your trunk. Now what you can do is come back later and I add these very fine branches of, real, of a real tree in the backyard here, very fine little ones there and I can add those to the bottom by just punching little holes or drilling little holes into the trunk and uh, uh, gluing them in with a bit of wood glue uh, and you can add some foliage onto these or leave them as the dead branches underneath with the new growth that's growing up onto the, onto the top. I've got a bit of wire in the bottom there and I push that up um, into the balsa wood so that I can drill a hole and just plant this tree and if I need to move the trees around I don't glue them down on the layer. You'll do some, when this is still wet this tree, but you just drop these down a bit and that'll cover up this gap underneath here. Just trim that down and you won't see that when, once, that's, um, once that's on the layer. I'll bring a tree out, a couple of trees, and I'll show you the finished trees. So we'll leave him, we'll leave him in here. A hole there. Yeah. We'll leave him there, and I'll go and bring a couple of trees out, and I'll show. You. The other little branches that I was just saying that you put, drill some holes and poke them in just underneath and you can't see that trunk on this tree that I finished here yet the little branches that are there are just enough to give give the impression that they're the big old branches and the, as the tree is growing up and you see the, see the difference of the colours here and the texture you can just see through the tree a little bit there you, if that was all filled up it wouldn't look real good and the little bits that are still sticking out okay you need a little bit of that to give you um, give you the look of the tree. So uh, two different trees. You can use different different colours. Don't keep using the same colours for every every tree. Put more more on on one tree and not so much on the other of uh, of different colours. That's a darker conifer than what that one is there. We can go back with this one and we can still add some more of the uh, the dark on it. But that's how you can go, and it's a simple. So you keep going with it and uh, you should be able to make yourself some nice trees for your layout.